Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, to a brand new video. You're probably thinking, who is this? Yeah, I thought I'd make a little bit of an effort today. You're usually seeing me in the renovation vlogs, not even hair not even styled or anything. And I just felt like making a little bit of an effort today for this video, probably inspired by the title, which is all about my health and wellness and beauty. All those things combined, I've just been thinking about making some changes and they all seem to tie into one. I thought it'd be a great video. And so, yeah, I did my fake tan this morning. So do excuse the hands because they're looking a little bit orange <laughs> in this video. And I always look really muddy. Like, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, my teeth are looking whiter <laughs> from fake tanning. Anyway, I was just sick, guys, of looking like a pasty English rolls. <laughs> you just feel so much better with a layer of tan on. I mean, Ash absolutely hates it. Not because of the sheets or anything, because obviously I ferment all day and then I wash off in the evening from the evening shower before I get into bed. I never get into bed without a shower. So um, my bed is always clean. So it's not that the reason why he doesn't like it. He hates the smell of it. He says I smell. Now, I don't know whether I'm immune to it, but I can't smell anything. Even when I've used like the nicer scents, you know, the coconut based ones, like he still says that I stink. Anyway, guys, go and grab yourselves a nice cup of something, something, because it's probably going to be a bit of a chatty one, this video. You know what I'm like. I do like to give a lot of context around what I'm saying. Otherwise, there's just a ridiculous amount of questions, isn't there? You know, otherwise. So yeah, I like to give as much info as possible. <laughs> So as you all can probably relate, we get super busy, don't we? And then things just slide and that's what's been happening with me. In my case, obviously, it's just been all about renovations and it's really hard to keep a nice um, wellness routine, shall we say, when you're in the middle of a renovation and the rooms are upside down, you've got nowhere to put your stuff. Please don't get it twisted. I am not complaining. It's just that obviously something's got to give and unfortunately it's me and my health and wellness and beauty. Well, let me tell you a little secret. <laughs> my body has not seen a razor <laughs> for a month. <laughs> Guys, it's bad, it's bad. <laughs> so as you all probably know, we finished finally the bathroom renovation. We've still got to style up that room yet and film that video. But before we do that, I just wanted to show you a few products that I've been picking up just recently. And it's really nice to have somewhere to put them. So I did a Look Fantastic order and I just wanted some essentials and you all know my favorite cleansing balm is the Elemis cleansing balm. Usually I get the original one. Is it called the original one? The yellow one? I'm not very good with the names. It might be just the original one. Anyway, it's yellow. I thought I'd try this rose cleansing balm. So I went for the large one. This is 100 grams. I do have a mini bottle that I kept a hold of. It's so handy, isn't it, to have the minis. So yeah, I've kept the bottle so that I can travel with that one if I go away. She says, nothing booked, by the way. So don't get too excited. <laughs> it's all work over here and no play. Did you hear my stomach growling then? <laughs> that was so loud. <laughs> I'm absolutely starving. But I put myself on a diet <laughs> again. <laughs> There's nothing more luxury than a cleansing balm, the Elemis cleansing balm. I love the smell of it. It's just the best, isn't it? If you haven't ever used it, oh my God, you need to try it. It is so good. It literally melts off your makeup and you can like really get in your eyes with it and it doesn't sting at all. It just, when you take it off, it's so nourishing and oh, it leaves your skin feeling absolutely incredible. Once you try this, you won't be able to live without it, just like me. I'm going to leave this link down below as well as all the other products you're about to see in this video. You know how at the start of the year we were saying how we're going to try new products and new brands and just try them all throughout the year. So I have had this brand on my radar, on my wish list, my beauty wish list. And oh my God, my stomach again. I'm so sorry, guys, if you heard that. <laughs> This is bad. <laughs> oh dear. 
And yeah, what were I saying? So this brand is by Terry and I picked this up on Look Fantastic. If they've still got it, I don't know if it was like a, um, a promotional thing or like a temporary thing or not, but if they've got it, like get it. This has got some of the best sellers in. Basically, it's like a gift set with a load of the best sellers and a few of them were on my wish list. So I thought, what a better way, you know, than to buy this little set with a load of their products in. Obviously, they're only small, like mini versions, but I just thought it was absolutely incredible. I can't remember how much it costs, but um, it was well worth it for what you get. Let me show you. It comes in this little pink by Terry canvas style little makeup bag which I think is really sweet so let's see so this product is one of the products that sold me on this little gift set so this is the by Terry brightening CC serum and it looks like this and it's like a luminous base for the skin before your foundation goes on and it's meant to give off the best glow. We haven't tried it yet, so I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, I didn't realize there were different shades. At the bottom, it says four sunny flash. Maybe that's the shade sunny flash. So I can't remember the grams, how many grams this is. It's only a small bottle. I do believe you can pick this up in a larger version and I've heard great things about this product. So because I'm on camera all the time as well, I thought I definitely at some point want to try it. So the fact that it was in this like gift set with all the best sellers, it's the best seller, um, is a great way to like try it, isn't it? So yeah, we've got the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. And then we have another product that's been on my wish list for ages from By Terry. So this is the By Terry Balm de Rose. And this is basically a lip balm. You guys know how I feel about lip care. I have to have my lips moist at all times. I cannot have dry lips. It makes me feel icky having dry lips. I just don't feel nourished. So um, my favorite is Carmex. I mean, it's like literally two pounds a pop and it's so affordable. It's such a well-known brand. I just love Carmex. It works the best. I don't like Vaseline or any of the other products because let me just talk about lips for a second. I've tried them all. Like I said, Vaseline dries out my lips. I know that sounds strange because it's like, um, you know, it's Vaseline, but Carmex has some sort of ingredient in it that really penetrates into the skin. It almost feels like it's got an active ingredient in and it keeps my lips from cracking. Like Vaseline, I can put that on and it feels great in the moment when it's on. It doesn't last long though. And when it's gone, my lips just feel dry again. Whereas Carmex seems to really penetrate into the lips, keeping them nourished. I don't know, Kymex just works best for me and I've got big lips naturally, so I do need to keep them moisturised, especially in the winter. Oh my God, mine gets so dry sometimes in the winter that um, they used to crack. Obviously, that's why I, I, I wear lip balm like religiously. I told you this was going to be a chatty video. <laughs> Is your tea cold? <laughs> so yeah, I've been trying different products from the start of the year because I just wanted to try different ones. Usually, like I said, I stick to Carmex, stick to what you know, but I believe, and for the sake of you guys as well, there's other products on the market that um, are probably really good. This is another one of them, the By Terry Balm de Rose. Let me do that so you can focus on the product. And yeah, By Terry Balm de Rose, it's got absolutely fantastic reviews and I can't wait to try this one. We did try the Caudalie, didn't we? Caudalie lip balm, I think it were about £11 for, you know, a little lip balm. Quite a bougie price. I didn't rate it, you guys. I'll keep a list going of all the stuff that we've been trying and at the end of each product and I've got enough to do a video, we'll do like a review video of them all. So this is the By Terry Hyaluronic Face Cream and this is a 15 mil. Again, really good for traveling with. And this is why I love the minis because we get to try them. Obviously, we're not gonna purchase the full product at such a high price point if we don't like it. 
So these minis are handy for that reason. Not only that, they're really handy to have in your like little travel cases as well. So it says that this has niacinamide in, which is really good for your skin. So always looking for the niacinamide ingredient. It's also got squalene in, 5% each of those. But yeah, a hyaluronic hydrating hydra cream. Is it called hydra cream? No, it's called hyaluronic face cream. We've also got here the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Primer. And I am guessing that those two hyaluronic products go hand in hand. I do love a primer. This wasn't on my wish list, by the way, but obviously I'm going to use it with it being in this pack here. And By Terry are really well known for the skincare products, aren't they? So, um, yeah, really excited to try the brand because I haven't ever tried anything from by Terry and then we just come in with all these products all at once. I absolutely love it. So this says it's colourless, hydrophilla, micro resurfacing, multi-zone base, invisible matte product. It sounds really good. Let's give it a go and see how we are with that one. We've then got the by Terry T2 Tan base and body. So this is a Hydra bronze all over water mist. Ooh. Is this like a face spray? So it looks like this. And I must admit, I do like a little face spray. It's not gonna lie. <laughs> I really go to town with my skincare on my face and give my face a really good exfoliate and a good scrub. And I use like glycolic acid toner for like deep exfoliation on the skin. Obviously the tan doesn't last so long on the face therefore we need regular top-ups while we're doing makeup in the morning i just dropped that all over the floor brb i've just got to pick all these up now just get all the fluff off that <laughs> we haven't got carpets down yet still so um bear with so this is the by terry kabuki brush oh a little kabuki brush this is what it looks like and I'm guessing that is for anything really, makeup, um, even tan. Cause don't they say you should put, I've actually got a few kabuki brushes, tanning brushes. So I'm not sure if that's an actual tanning brush, but they say, don't they, to do your face and neck with a brush when you're tanning. And I, I never do, I always just use a mitt. Um, Cause a lot of people say the tan doesn't stay on the face and neck. And I don't get that problem. Like, look, I'm tan this morning and it's definitely sticking to my neck. So I tend to not use a brush, but I will make use of this. I'll keep it in a travel case. And obviously with it being so little, I mean, it's not that small. It's like the size of my hand nearly. Mascara Terry Bla Growth Booster in the shade Black Party Press. Does that mean it's a serum or an actual oh it's an actual mascara a mini one as well again a really good size to take on holiday this is what it looks like and it's black i do prefer a brown mascara personally i just suit brown better because black is very harsh on me i say that and i've got like a chanel black mascara on today guys you probably don't even um notice when I've got mascara on or not because I've got non-existent lashes. I've got them. There's not that many of them. They're very short and stumpy. I've tried LVL. I don't think the girl did it right. They were like they bent really round and like it was really annoying. And she said, oh, they bent really round, but they'll relax back to like they, they were bent too far around. Do you know what I mean? The curl that she put on them was too much. And they were like, they almost bent back on themselves and it was really quite annoying. They stayed like that for days. She said that eventually they'd come back to uh, n like a nice wave, but they didn't. <laughs> anyway, they're dead straight, they're dead short and they're also really fair. Like my body hair is not thick or black. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's quite soft and blondish. You can't really see it. Why am I talking about body hair again? 
I told you guys I'm in need of a makeover like desperately in fact I might book a spa day again soon for me and Joelle because I also need <laughs> I also need a back massage in fact I'm I'm past a back massage I need to be put through <laughs> a pasta machine <laughs> oh what's this then by Terry Ombre Black Star in the shade 4 Bronze Moon and this is a colour fix cream eyeshadow so this is what it looks like guys and that's the colour of it that is my kind of colour like I said I love all the mock tones and the brown tones let's give it a little swatchy swirl can you see that it's just like bronzy that's actually gorgeous. I can't wait to try that. That is something I would wear every day as well on my eyelids. I don't do much eyeshadow. If I do buy a palette, it lasts me ages because like I said, I just don't do eyeshadow so much. And I tend to use like a bronzer for my eyelids. Like when I've done my bronzer on my cheeks, I tend to like just whatever's on the excess on the brush, I just run over the lids slightly and that's how I do my eyeshadow every day. That's literally what I do. But I always choose if it's a palette or I'm buying eyeshadows, it's always in the nude and bronzy tones. So that's absolutely perfect. Can't wait to try that actually. Hyaluronic Pressed Hydra Powder. I'm guessing this is like um, a translucent setting powder. So it's a pressed powder and it says it's, it's colour zero, colourless. So yeah, it's like a translucent powder, isn't it? I'm trying to open this because it's so bloody small. Oh, it's got a little, oh, that is so cute. Let me open it for you there so you can see. So that's what it looks like. And then you open it up, it's got a little mirror, which is dead cute, isn't it? And then it's got this little powder puff thing here. It's got this little powder puff to apply with, which is really good if you like, if it's in your handbag or you're going on holiday. And yeah, that's what it looks like. Little pressed powder. So I will definitely make use of that as well. But I was so excited for the CC Serum and the Balm de Rose. Those two products is what inspired me to get this pack. And you can buy them separately, of course, if you want to. Um, but they were the two I was most interested in. Okay, moving away from by Terry, I picked up another wish list item that was on my beauty wish list. So this is the Medicate C Tetra and it's the Vitamin C Radiance Serum. So this is what it looks like in the box. So it says, restore radiance and fight visible signs of aging with C Tetra. This daily serum infuses skin with a stabilised gent gentler form of Vitamin C alongside co-antioxidant Vitamin E. The lightweight formula sinks in rapidly to leave skin looking bright and refreshed. Medicate recommend using vitamin C and sunscreen in the mornings and vitamin A at night. We call this skincare strategy CSA. Okay, so maybe we'll try the other one they recommend. This one has been on my wish list for a long time, actually. I've heard a lot of people talking about this. Good things I hear. So, like I said, I always keep a wish list with everything. Beauty, fashion, blah, 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 interiors. And because I don't like to impulse buy, I love, love, love the packaging. It's in, like, this amber bottle. Looks like it's got a pipette system which we love makes me feel like a scientist <laughs> when it's got a pipette i just love a pipette okay oh so it's quite runny i don't know with it being a serum oh with it being a serum i expected it to be um thick for some reason it's not like actually i remember someone saying it goes a long way it literally does you saw the tiniest drop there can you see it shining on my hand gone all the way down the back of my hand and down the arm that's how far it's gone you literally need a tiny drop and I remember actually someone saying it goes a really long way so there you go it definitely does okay so the next two products came in a gift set as well and I had to share it in another video because I wasn't sure how long the deal would last for if it were a deal etc basically this is a brand called L'Occitane you might have heard of it. It's a French brand. It's a very well-known brand. A lot of people say a lot of good things about it. I've never, ever tried a product from them. 
this is my first time trying the brand themselves and I wanted to go in with this, which is one of the best sellers. This is the Almond Shower Oil, L'Occitane Almond Shower Oil and everybody, everybody raves about it. So I think it retails for about £30. I mean, it's always different from different retailers. So you have to check the prices. So as I was looking to pick this up off of my wish list, I was obviously looking for the best price. Anyway, I found it in an Easter egg gift set. So if it's still available, after I showed it in the last video, it might have sold out by now, I'm not sure. If it's still available in this Easter egg deal, I'll leave it down below. Make sure you go and check out the link down there. If it's not, I'll leave the cheapest price. Because like I said, it usually retails for around £30 for a 250ml bottle, which is this. John Lewis had it on a deal for £17 because it were on sale for some reason. It might have just been a John Lewis sale. That might be over now. Whatever, I'll leave it the cheapest deal I can find it on down below. But if you can get it in this 20 quid gift set, it's amazing value because like I said, this product alone is £30. And then this is the L'Occitane Almond Hand and Nail Care. This retails for £10 on its own. So this is 30, this is 10. So you're looking at about 40 pounds for those two L'Occitane products in the Easter egg deal. I picked it up for 20 quid. It might've changed in price. This smells honestly incredible. Like you want your bath time, your shower time smelling like this product. Oh my God, it is divine, divine. You need to try it. Please try it. You won't be disappointed. You'll be thanking me for the recommendation if you haven't already tried it. I might have put a bit too much in my first bath, but you know, after not having a bathroom, guys, for so long, that first bath, it deserved all that product in it. And it was amazing. But yeah, I've got a feeling, guys, that this is just like the Elemis cleansing balm. It's going to be a favourite in my bath time, shower time routine. <laughs> like I said, it comes with this in the gift set, but you can buy these separately if the gift set's not available. And this is the Almond Hand and Nail Care Cream. I'm gonna pop it on just so I can refresh my memory in the moment of what it's like. I thought it might be thicker than that. It's actually like a water-based cream. I'm putting all these products on this hand and look, I'm literally rubbing off my tan. It's a nice little product to have in the bathroom cabinet. I'm just so happy to have a better bathroom routine, morning routine, evening routine, now that we've got the bathroom. And these are really important for me because sometimes, you know what, especially in the winter, I do suffer from puffy eyes and these are absolutely beautiful. They're also really good if you keep them in the fridge in the summer. They're just really cooling under the eye, especially if it's hot. Like I said, if you're on holiday or you're in summer in your house, like keep these in the fridge. They're amazing and I just love them. These I picked up from um, Home Sense TK Maxx yesterday, in fact, and these were $3.99 and you get three pairs of them. They're so good and they're obviously really hydrating as well. Cooling, if you keep them in the fridge, it de-puffs the eye. You can pick these up from Look Fantastic. That's where I used to get them from. I just saw them in um, TK Maxx while I was shopping yesterday, so I picked them up. But I will link the ones that you pick up from like Look Fantastic down below because they're really handy to have in the fridge. And I love a face mask or an eye mask. I just love it. I've actually wrote, because I'm a little geek, I've wrote some notes in my little notebook because there's no way... I can remember this kind of information. So I just wanna give a disclaimer before I talk about these two products. The wellness products, there's a lot of claims and benefits to these products. Some of them have been proven, some of them are still being researched. So I just wanted to do a disclaimer here that I am not a medical professional. Um, and please do your own research regarding these products and if they're gonna be compatible with you and your unique needs. 
I always feel like I'm being really condescending when I give a disclaimer like that. But unfortunately, guys, there's some people out there that just, they would jump off a cliff if you told them to. <laughs> like, unfortunately, there's no common sense left. I mean, it goes without saying, doesn't it, that you would research a product. You wouldn't just take a product because someone told you to. It might not be for you. So, yeah, everybody's different. Everybody's unique. These products are what I'm trying for me and why I am taking these products or trying them at least. So the first one is matcha tea. So you all know that I went to the doctors recently. There's some investigations going on with me currently as, as we speak. But like I said in another video, I can't just sit around knowing what bits of information we've got so far. I can't just sit on it and wait for all these scans to come through and then results to come through. Like if I think there's something wrong or if they've told me that a couple of things wrong, I'm going to work to improve it. I'm just, I'm not one to sit down and not solve a problem and leave it unsolved, you know, like I will try and help myself because I, I'm just that kind of person. So my blood pressure was sky high that day. She asked me all the usual questions. Was I stressed on the way to the doctors? I wasn't, I was quite calm. I live a quite calm life. You know, um, she asked me all the usual questions that you should ask a patient. I quickly researched when I got home why your blood pressure could be high. And it said drinking, smoking, um, stress, cortisol, and all of that, and all these reasons, right? Well, I had none of those things. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I eat pretty good, I eat pretty healthy, to be honest with you. Like, I mean, I know I eat the odd packet of crisps, but so does everybody. I don't eat really bad. I'm not eating McDonald's all the time. I'm not eating fried foods. You know, I generally, you've seen what I eat. I eat avocados, eggs every day. I eat pretty good. My diet's pretty good. The only thing on that list was exercise. You guys know I don't like exercise at all. I have been looking into like Pilates classes, but I'll talk about that on a blog and we'll work out some, I don't know, some sort of exercise routine into my lifestyle and make some changes there because that could be literally it and I'm willing to try it at this point. Anyway, alongside my blood pressure was high cholesterol as well. And um, I can't remember, I did research it. It's like I said, it's a lot of information for me to take it in. But my cholesterol was really high. I've done a lot of research on what that could be and then foods and things like that. I cut salt out straight away and my blood pressure come down because she actually gave me a blood pressure diary to come home with. So Ash has been doing blood pressure for me every morning and every evening for two weeks. I'm about to take the results into the doctors. So I can see two weeks, the last two weeks were, and it was really high, even when I come on from the doctors that day, the next few days, it was super high again. So it wasn't just like I was stressed that day, it was high for a reason. And yeah, it literally panicked me uh, into getting my ass into gear. <laughs> so I cut out salt straight away because after doing a lot of research, I think someone said salt, salty foods. I put a lot of salt on my foods. I do like salty foods. I'm not gonna lie, like savory foods. And I add a lot of salt in. So I cut out the salt and I could see the blood pressure coming down from the blood pressure diary that I've been doing. I didn't make any other changes. So it must've been the salt. Do you know what I mean? I'm just doing trial and error. And then I found someone saying somewhere in my research about a uh, matcha tea. So I then went down the matcha rabbit hole and apparently there is a lot of benefits to matcha. Let me tell you the benefits that I've wrote down here. Matcha is an antioxidant, reduces cell damage and prevents chronic disease. What is chronic disease, I hear you say? Chronic disease, I believe, is a like reoccurring problem that you can't get seem to get rid of. I guess like a cough would be a chronic disease if you can't get rid of it. I'm just Googling all this information. It may help prevent the liver and liver disease. It also boosts brain function um, in regards to like attention span, memory and reaction times. It may help to prevent cancer which is always great, isn't it? There's so much cancer in the world these days and I really believe, and this is my opinion only, let's not get started on this debate. It's a debate, arguably, and all of that jazz, but um, I believe all this cancer comes from this modified food. Literally, everything mankind touches turns to shit, doesn't it? It's like I say sometimes, like, the worst thing God did was give mankind choice 
because they make all the wrong choices <laughs> some of them do anyway i used to be one of them you know but um let's just pray that everybody you know works on being a better human being works on themselves holds themselves accountable for the shitty behaviors and changes it sorry everybody going on a bit of a tangent there it may promote heart health so obviously with my blood pressure being high and cholesterol and all of that could be linked to a heart issue of somewhere obviously that needs more investigation and um, I'm not self-diagnosing but I'm gonna try and bring that down and help myself in the meantime and if matcha helps with any heart issues that I could potentially have then that's great isn't it and then finally it aids weight loss and increases metabolism and fat burning and personally I struggle with that these days like I've always been a slim girly when I was younger just a naturally good body weight and type and healthy I don't know if it's because of age it possibly is isn't it um that you do tend to put a few more pounds on in your in your later ages and obviously now i live a really comfortable life and i love food i love cooking and it's no secret that i do i don't exercise because i don't like it so that is probably the issue surrounding my weight gain i would like to lose a few pounds i try all the time it doesn't seem to happen um, do I try hard enough? Probably not. <laughs> like I, I try one day and then the next day I'm making a chicken pot pie <laughs> with a side of fries and a glass of wine. I mean, like, I just love life, you know, <laughs> let me live. And my husband loves me just the way I am. And I'm not stressed because you know what? When I was younger, I was really skinny. And the reason why I looked so good is what people used to say and I was stressed to death and so unhappy that I didn't eat because I think that's the only thing I could control or I just lose my appetite, to be honest with you personally. When I'm sad and depressed, I just lose lose my appetite. Now, I don't want to cause dramas and depression sessions in my life just because, just so I can lose weight. Like, I'm happy. And they say that, don't they? You put on a few more pounds when you're happy. I am. I'm really happy in life, where I'm at. I'm happy with my marriage. I'm happy... Now my daughter's grown up, I've got a good relationship with her. I don't have anything in life that stresses me out. I live comfortably and I live a good life. I'm very blessed, I know that. Anyway, regardless, it may help weight loss. So I did some research, I went down the matcha um, rabbit hole and um, there's a few out there on the market. I wanted to make sure that I was getting one that was going to work. You know, I'm not just buying any old shit shall we say so i did a little bit of a research this is actually being shown on dragon's den that is not the reason why i bought it solely a lot of people said that this one is a really good one after trying loads of others so i'm going to take what they have said and go in with the really good one so you can pick this up from tesco's if you do like a local shop there you can also pick it up on amazon it's the same price, you can get it on Amazon Prime, so I'll link this down below. And this is the Perfect Ted Matcha, it's organic, it's ceremonial grade, which I think is really good. Um, it's shade grown, hand picked, air dried, stone ground, single origin from farms at the foothills of Japan. It's perfect in teas and lattes, porridge, baked treats, smoothies, cocktails. So you might have seen me making this, in the vlogs because like I said I'm trying it at the moment I don't like the taste of it I must admit so I'm looking into more recipes that's going to sweeten it up a little bit make it go down a little bit better you know I'm a musical fan a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down in the most delightful way <laughs> so far I've used this in vanilla yogurt and mixed it into a vanilla yogurt thinking the vanilla would sweeten it up a little bit and it did you can still taste that matcha it tastes like green tea it's a green tea isn't it but a very potent green tea um yeah very strong you might like green tea the taste of it i don't specifically like it or else i drink it more often like i have to sweeten things up maybe honey would be really good to sweeten it up because that's really good for you sometimes isn't it as well i just love coffee and it's what gets me out of bed in the morning but yeah if we can swap to matcha lattes and make them taste better then we'll be on to a winner i've seen a lot of people use vanilla um syrup in the matcha lattes maybe that is what 
making it taste nice. So I will need to get some vanilla syrup and we're going to continue to try this. Now, I was already going to try collagen powder. It was on my things to try list for beauty reasons. Obviously, you associate collagen with skin and elasticity, is it, in the skin? Don't quote me on that. But yeah, it's definitely for the skin, mainly, its benefits. And as you get older, you lose the collagen. It's elasticity, isn't it, in the skin? I'm sure it is. That's why I was going to start implementing it into my lifestyle routine, my daily routine, maybe. Like I said, I was on my little research trip and I found some more benefits. I've wrote them down here because, like I said, I've got brain fog and I can't retain this kind of information, so I have to write notes. Um, the collagen benefits are it improves skin and hair, it strengthens teeth and nails, it helps to detox, it repairs joints and helps leaky gut, whatever that is. It boosts meta metabolism, which I definitely need help with. Um, and it also reduces cellulite and stretch marks. So that's really nice. I'm really lucky. Um, I'm 40 next year. I might have the odd little lump and bump in the bum and the thigh. The odd one. Like I've been really lucky. I know some girls who are just covered in like cellulite. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just how the body stores fat, isn't it? And it's unique from person to person. But I've got to say, I'm doing pretty well in that department. Like I'm really chuffed with that. I don't really have a lot of cellulite at all. I've got a great arse for my age. Like, if I can keep this arse through my 40s, I'll be like, I'll be really happy. Don't get me wrong, I don't look like a supermodel or anything like that, but I've got pretty smooth skin and I'm really lucky and grateful and blessed for that. Here we have some vital proteins collagen peptide this is basically an unflavored powder from my research personally it said that a lot of the flavored collagen powders and we saw some didn't we in home bargains the other day we didn't pick them up because i had this on order but basically the flavored ones can taste a bit yucky apparently and i'm not great with anything that i've got to take if it tastes funny you know what i mean like the matcha i, I need it to taste nice anyway recommendations online say to get the unflavored version and then didn't i tell you in another video just recently i have an auntie auntie pat from ireland she looks absolutely amazing and she's always been into health and beauty and wellness and i trust everything that she said like she's so invested she's tried everything you know like supplements and everything you can think of she's uh, honestly honestly she is a wealth of knowledge so i thought well, I'm doing all this research. Why don't I just ask Auntie Pat from Ireland? She's going to know exactly what to take, which one to take, because I was looking for which is the best collagen powder. She recommended this one. She takes it all the time. She has tried them all, of course, and she looks absolutely incredible. I have just received this in the post yesterday. I've used it this morning in my coffee. Again, it's unflavoured, so you can just add it to your coffee in the morning and you can't taste it. It's like you can't even detect it so that's really good so yeah i am now trialing the collagen so if anything hopefully i'll look a little bit better um i'll have better knees <laughs> and we can prevent cellulite <laughs> And yeah, that brings us guys to the end of the video. Really excited to try some of these new products that have been on my wish list for quite some time, especially these wellness products, you know, given the high blood pressure and high cholesterol readings I've just received at the doctors lately. So hopefully that will come down. Your health guys is your wealth. Like none of this shit matters, but your health does. Love, family, health is wealth. And I'm going to leave you guys there. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit different for me to do something like this on the channel. But, you know, one day soon, the renovations are going to be finished. And then what we're going to talk about? <laughs> we're going to have to do another one, aren't we? Anyway, <laughs> I'm waffling on far too long. And I've got to edit all this footage back and probably give myself a headache. So <laughs> leave me a bow and arrow emoji if you're still here at the end of the video always always 
leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys and replying to all of your comments of an evening after my evening shower. It's a little ritual routine that I, I do now. And uh, yeah, I just love chatting and relating to you guys and connecting. It's really nice. We're building a really nice community, aren't we, on this channel. I will see you for another renovation vlog on Sunday. I'll see you then, guys. Bye.